Hi, what's up guys, this is Ambition and I'm doing a tutorial for securitygeeks.net a Python tutorial and let me show you what are we going to do in this tutorial so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a client on the server which will connect together uh, and this is definition thread this is server.py which is the server and client.py which is the client so let me run uh, the client uh, the server first because the server is the one that listens for connection and the client is the one which uh, tries to connect to the server so run and this window is a big sheet so I'm gonna change the port here because I'm not understanding what Windows is trying to say me every time I change the port and I use it uh, it says that you have to change the port so I'm gonna use 567 some random port here save I'm gonna run maybe and it works properly so I'm gonna go to port here 567 file save run and here it is the server prints we got connection from 127.0.0.1.3746 and the server send a message to the client we are connected so this is what it will look like when it's finished so let's close all of this we need python 2.7 to to follow me because i will use python 2.7 so basically let's go uh, to open my python editor sorry if i make any mistakes because i just woke up so let's go to file new window and let's save the file as save as server1.py i will save on a desktop desktop <laughs> make sure it's here save it now before we continue we have to import the socket module which is the module uh, that makes possible uh, the connection between the client and the server import socket now we create a socket object let's call it server socket socket equals to socket which is the module dot socket after creating the socket object we need the server name and the port on which the server will listen so server name equals to mm, local host because I will run my server on my local machine and server port the port on which the server will listen let's make it 455 some random shit and let's bind server socket socket dot bind mm. I suck at typing <laughs> on laptops so let's put the fucking bitch here <laughs> Sorry, fucking server name and the server port. <laughs> fucking bitch. And after we bind the server socket, we listen. Socket that listen. I'm trying to type fast because my upload connection sucks now 
we create a while conditional loop which basically is true in Python because while true uh, means uh, test uh, if this while loop is true while true in Python is always true because true is always true and the code that comes after the while loop will run forever uh, we want the server to listen all day and all night, so we have to make while true connection. While true, listen, listen. All day, all night. All day, all night. So uh, this reminds me, Johnny the Pesta Stein with Joka. <laughs> so now let's uh, accept uh, the client. Sorry, I just fuck up, guys. This is the address that we'll receive from the client immediately after we are connected to the client, or the client is connected to us because we listen. We don't do any fucking thing. So, c address equals to. We start two variables because uh, we need two variables because the set method will. Uh, return us uh, maybe a tuple with two items on it I don't know what variable so server socket dot accept and now just accept and after we accept the connection we print uh, something to the screen to make sure we got the connection from client we got connection from from and from the client which is the client which is the address that we got here from the set method so address here and after printing that we <laughs> we got connection from address. We inform the server administrator that we the cli well client is connected. Now let's use this connection here, which is assigned to the C variable, to send some message to our fucking client. Hello. Hello. How are you? And after that, make sure you close the connection. Now let's save it. I hope I haven't got any errors. So let's run. And the server is listening. Now let's go create the client. Let's go file, new window, uh, import socket, the same here. The socket is the key, the socket module, client socket equals socket that socket is the same thing we need the server address so server address equals localhost because I'm running my server on my laptop the local machine mm, server port which is the port the server is listening for connection for five five now let's uh, try to connect to the server client socket which is the socket object that connect connect takes as input a tuple which is the server address and the server port hmm. now let's after we are connected we can receive data from the server so client socket socket is the key I remember the magic key uh, shit client socket dot receive one two four ten two four now 
explain this shit. And I close this client socket. That close. So the client uh, just connects to the server and it receives some data from the server. We I showed it on the server side. Hello, how are you? We sent the client. So let's save and run it. Should I save? Did I save this? No, okay. DY client one dot py don't forget that py save on desktop okay save now run run module and I don't know why this shit is not working every time I record it doesn't work so I got connection. Hello, how are you? See that sign. Let's see on the server side what's happening. This is the client side. Maybe because the server stopped. Okay, let's run again. Okay, the server is listening. Let's run the client. Client one. Mm, shit. How many minutes? Twelve minutes. Let's. Hi guys, I'm back and I found a mistake. Not mistake, but it's the window operating system problem. So I'm using server for help. 1987, 1987, and let's let's make it some random shit again. One, four, five. One, four, five. File, save. File, save. Run. Run. Hello, how are you? the server ask us we got connection from and the client address so see you next time geek lifestyle ambitious lifestyle and don't forget to check my blog this is adriano.blogspot.com i have to stop it because my internet sucks uploading this stuff